and we're back. Hello everyone and welcome back to Day of the Day Day with me, Phil Mann, in which I explain what the day of the day is today. Happy National Popcorn Day, everyone. Can you believe that National Popcorn Day has rolled around again? Whether you're preparing popcorn before you're horribly murdered by a man in a terrifying mask with a big knife, or if you're just eating popcorn, popcorn is great for being disappointed. Like most sperm, the endosperm that makes up popcorn are found in cinemas across the country. The endosperm heats up inside the shell, creates steam and then explodes inside the shell, like a turtle having a wet dream. They never cover that in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, do they? Or the fact that teenagers are really annoying. If you watch Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles now, they're really annoying. No, you can't just eat pizza all the time. What is wrong with you? Popcorn started in Mexico about 9,000 years ago, and some people say that the popcorn that's in your local cinema is about that old. Just jumbling around waiting for some idiot who can't buy snacks before he turns up at a place to turn up and buy it. And that idiot is you! You know you're going to the cinema tonight. You live next to a shop. Don't tell me you don't live next to a shop. You look like you live in the basement of a shop and eat the gone-off food as your only sustenance. Why don't you go to that shop and buy snacks you actually like for money that you can afford instead of buying exploded dust that costs more than your house? Why is popcorn so stale? Well, freshly picked popcorn doesn't pop. And what better metaphor is there for the state of the modern world than nature's glorious bounty isn't acceptable until it's gone off, been processed, covered in sugar and salt, and sold at an exorbitant price to morons. They're trying to put you off. People keep coming in and buying it, so they put the price up thinking, surely nobody can buy this out-of-date vegetable, and you keep doing it. Corn is not a party word. Hey, kids. Guess who's got the corn? Please, Dad. Please, can we have some corn? Please, can we? Are you sure you don't want a PlayStation? No, Dad, please. Give us the corn. Why do I have a different accent to you? You're not my real dad. It's served in cinemas, where it's served either salty or sweet, which is the only two emotions that I have. I would say you eat the popcorn while you're watching a movie, but we all know there's no popcorn left by the time the movie starts. Why? Because you ate it during the trailers. Why? Because you're greedy. Why? Because humans are part horse. Why do you do that, you idiot horse? Now you've got nothing to eat during the movie because you ate it all in the trailers. Why? Because if you place a feed bag on a horse's nose, it'll eat it. And humans are exactly the same. I mean, have you ever seen a horse? It's basically a long human with a baguette for a head and hammers instead of hands and feet. And you have to eat popcorn as you watch a movie because of the metaphor. And what better thing to do during the world's longest advertisement for merchandising made by one of the biggest tax scams there is than to constantly consume empty calories cheaply made. After all, you drink alcohol during the wake of a funeral because consuming killing fluid at a death party is an unavoidable metaphor. You drink coffee at work because drinking paying attention fluids during the only time that you receive pecuniary emoluments for paying attention to something that you don't want to receive is an unavoidable metaphor. And so you pay half a day's pay to eat consumer puffs during the 90 minute brand presentation VT that is a movie. You're probably eating popcorn right now, aren't you? Disgusting. Happy National Popcorn Day, you idiot.